welcome back to Bookish Taylor. I am Taylor and today I'm here to bring you 5 to 1 Friday that was supposed to go last week. So this was supposed to be for the 30th of March and we were doing our 5 most anticipated reads or just releases for anything that involves, you know, books, movie, music, TV shows, anything for April. And I have 5 books here so let's go ahead and dive on in. I actually end up having seven anticipated reads for the month of April and I'm not really going to go on into any synopsis if you're interested. I will have the links to the books down in the description. So I'm going to go in chronological order. So releasing on the 3rd of April. It's a, I believe it's a novella bind up for the um, Three Dark Crowns series and that is by Kendar Blake and it is called Queens of Fenburn. So I'm really excited. I absolutely love The Three Dark Crowns and um, One Dark Throne, which are the two books that are out right now. So I'm really excited to get these my hands on these novellas. And then another release is Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. This looks fantastic and it sounds even better. And I think I've had this on my radar since like December of last year. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I have two that are going to be releasing on April 10th. The first one is Isles of Blood and Stone by Makaya Lucier. I'm not 100% sure. I'm so sorry if that's wrong. But this, another one that looks incredible, cover itself is what drew me in. So that's why I'm excited for that one. And then on the 10th we have Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. And I'm only 17 pages into A Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda and I'm absolutely loving it and I love her writing style so I think I'm really going to enjoy Ace of Shades as well. And then I have three that are going to be releasing on the 24th and that is Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. This is kind of, this arc has kind of been floating around everywhere and I've heard a lot of people are really enjoying it so I'm excited to see what I think about it. Another one is Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. This cover just looks absolutely stunning. So yeah, I, I feel like it's going to be right in that realm of like the patriarchy, fantasy patriarchy thing that I'm kind of really into right now. So I think it's going to be really, really good. Plus, like I said, that cover is just stunning. And then finally, we have Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. This is the second book in the Creekwood series by her. I think the first one was actually Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. So I'm kind of interested to see how she's going to do with this. I think it's like a series, but there are a bunch of companion novels. So yeah, I'm really excited to see this one. I absolutely love Leah. I kind of relate to her. So I'm really looking forward to seeing more from Leah's point of view. So yeah, those are the seven books <laughs> that I am mostly anticipating. My top five would probably have to be Leah on the Offbeat, Ace of Shades, Isles of Blood and Stone, Queens of Fenburn, Ash Princess. I think that those are the five that I'm most excited for that come out in April. What is your most anticipated read for April? I'm really curious, so let me know down below. And I will see you guys next Friday for another 5 to 1 Friday. Bye!